Well, I was a bit surprised, um, you know, but looking at the trend of news that was going around, especially the teasers that was going, and except, I mean, I'm sure some people have watched the video. So um, I wasn't surprised that the president of the land ordered investigation into the whole issue. So I wasn't surprised anyway. Well, uh, initially, when uh, I got the news, uh, I got a bit shocked. But uh, right after the press conference by the deputy uh, chief of staff, uh, Jinapo, I came to the realization that the president wants to get to the bottom of the matter. And I think that uh, President Kwasi Techi should also cooperate with the CID so that the fact of the matter will come out. And uh, what impresses me much is about the fact that the president asks that those accomplices should also be investigated so that uh, we'll get to the bottom of the matter. Definitely something, you know, prompted something. So how do we get to the bottom of it? I think that the legally mandated institution that the CID is the best institution to you know, get into the bottom of this matter. Um, the news came to me with shock. I never expected that anything of this nature could happen to my friend and my brother, Mr. Kwesin Yantechi. And so um, I, I was glad out of the shock, I was glad that the president of the land did not take the matter up to himself, but decided to give it to the appropriate quarters, Criminal Investigation Department, to look into the matter and come out with a pronouncement that will be fair to Mr. Nyantechi and the government or the presidency. So at this stage, I will say that I, if you ask me how I received the news, I received the news with shock, but I was glad that due process is being followed for the matter uh, to be known to the public. Well, the news, it came to me as a surprise. Um, especially we were anticipating that Anas will come out with a video though, but we never thought um, His Excellency Nanad Ekufuado was linked to the video. Everybody expected that, of course, it's football affair, and so it's, it belongs to the football fraternity only only for we to be hit that uh, Mekufuado has been linked to, to, to the story. And so where I heard the news was, you know, virtually on WhatsApp platforms and I was scrolling and I just heard the breaking news. So basically I was shocked. Well, I heard it from a member of our newsroom at XYZ and uh, when I heard it, in fact, I was very shocked because I was very skeptical about uh, um, the news, but after confirming it from a very reliable source, I then had to believe it. And uh, looking at the decision of the president to um, call for an investigation into this or the conduct of Nantich, I think that uh, it's a move in the right direction. As a president, he has every right and his capacity to do that. If he feels that something has not gone right in his uh, own judgment, he has every right to um, ask for investigations from the CID. And I believe that it's, it's, it's good news for Ghana football as well. In as much as people see it as a, a bad news, I see it as both good and bad because this was also for uh, the JV president an opportunity to defend himself. So it's not going to be one-sided. In as much as he'll be um, taken through the, uh, well, the various investigative measures, he also has an opportunity to defend himself. And if he is innocent, it will also be a relief for people who saw him as uh, what, a man who has been perceived as corrupt. But, but if he goes wrong also, then it's going to be a very big blow for Ghana football. Looking at the pedigree and level of President Echi globally, somebody who has been to the FIFA Executive Committee, somebody who is ranked as uh, one of the best football administrators in Ghana in modern terms. So it's, it's two ways and uh, we just want to see how things pan out though. But it's going to really, really be interesting in the coming days. Mm -hmm.